Good morning, guys. I uh, want to do a video today on my hats. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if anybody will watch this video, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a video on uh, on all my cowboy hats. Uh, I've got different hats for different parts of the season is what I've got going on here. But uh, I don't have any really, really expensive hats. Uh, I don't think you should spend over a hundred bucks on a cowboy hat. That's that's just me, you know. You're gonna, if you're gonna wear it and you're gonna use it, you're gonna be out there getting it dirty. You're gonna be out there riding horses in it, you know, doing what doing whatever, doing your farm work. You know, it's uh, it's gonna get tore up. So why spend more than a hundred dollars on one? That's that's just me. Uh, these these hats all have served me well for the last few years, and uh, you know, I, I've got. Hats for different weather and hats for different seasons. You know, maybe maybe I just real addicted to cowboy hats. But uh, say you're in a store and you find a cowboy hat that uh, you really like, but it's maybe just a little loose. Well, you can buy this foam kit. Let's take a look at that. You can buy this foam kit. It has different sizes of foam that you can put in your hat in different places to make your hat you know fit better. So as long as you're not buying one that's humongous, that's not, you know, ever going to fit you anyway. But if it's just a little bit, little bit loose, you know, you, you can fix it with that. You know, say you find a good deal on one or running a special or something, and it just ain't quite perfect. You can pretty well make it perfect with one of these little kits. And I think this kit was like six bucks. I don't know. They're not very expensive at all. I bought it on Amazon. But so I've used some of these on, on a couple of these hats. But uh, anyway... We'll get into it here. Uh, we'll get rid of this thing. I got it laid out here from winter to summer. All right. Now, we're right now in late winter, so we never know what kind of weather we're going to have. Uh, so, we'll go to my hard winter hat. Whenever it's really cold outside, this is a little Stetson crushable 100% wool hat when it's really cold outside you want wool because wool will retain your heat it will re if it's rainy snowy outside even if this thing gets soaking wet it'll retain heat so you cannot hardly beat a wool hat for winter time this thing will keep your head warm it'll uh it'll keep your head mostly dry like i said even if this thing gets completely soaking wet it's still gonna hold your heat. So this little Stetson crushable hat, and it's crushable, so therefore, if you wanna fold this hat up and put it in a put it in a suitcase, I mean, you can fold this thing all up, all up like you want, however you want. You can wad this thing up in a, in a ball. And when you let go of it, look there, it goes right back to the way it's supposed to be. This hat was, it's a, it's a Stetson. It was, I think, I think they're $120 now. I think I gave a hundred dollar bill for it, you know, back before before ever, all the prices went up on everything. Uh, uh, anyway, this is a this is a great wintertime hat. Uh, a hat to in, in my opinion is the most important in the wintertime. So uh so if it'll pay you to have a good wool hat. So this ain't a wide brimmed, you know, regular looking cowboy hat, but it is, it is wool. It's a beautiful hat. It's functional. It, uh, it's a great hat. Then you get into your nicer hats that you might want to wear whenever you are riding horses or whenever you're, uh, or say if you're going to, you know, some sort of a family function or out to dinner or something where you really want to look nice you can't beat a black felt hat i mean just your standard black felt hat now this in passing you know could look just like a stetson or a resist all but it's not it's a lone star i bought this at our uh, at our farm store you can tell i mean i've wore it i've got the I've got it kind of worn down and it does have some of that padding in it I got a piece of it right here and a piece of it here and a little piece in the back uh, just to make it just to make the fit right. You know, 
I, I did put some of the some of this uh, some of this stuff in it, but uh, this is a Lone Star. This is a 319 RCA. I bought it at a local our local farm store. I think I bought it at a uh, the family center, and I gave 60 bucks for it. You know, it's a pretty good looking hat. Now, when it comes to hats, the more X's that it has on it, we'll get into that here in a minute. The more X's that it has, the more beaver felt it'll have in it. So therefore, the more water resistant, weather resistant, uh, the better it'll hold its shape, the longer it'll hold its shape. They'll, they will last longer. So if you spend two or three hundred dollars on a hat that's, you know, a 20X hat or a 10X hat, you know, they will last. They will, they'll last, but you're paying a lot of money, you know. I, this is sixty dollars, and in a passing glance, nobody knows it ain't a Stetson. You know what I mean? Until you hold hold the hat and feel it, that's when you know the quality of the hat. But just in passing, nobody's gonna know that that ain't a Stetson. You know what I mean? Or a Resist All. But you know they're they're good they're good functional hats. If uh, if I if I'm riding horses or or wrap my side by side, this thing blows out the window and I run over it or a horse stomps on it. I've lost 60 bucks. You know, if it gets torn all to hell, I've lost 60 bucks instead of two or three hundred dollars. You know, I can replace this a whole lot easier than I can a three hundred dollar Stetson. And then whenever it comes to your felt hats and you're wanting to look nice, you know, I also like a gray hat. This one's this one is this one is a Justin's. And uh, it's a Justin hat. It's a it's a three X, so it's nothing, you know, nothing fancy. I gave sixty dollars for this hat, also sixty bucks at the Tractor Supply. Uh, it's a it's a fine hat. There's there's nothing wrong with this thing. It's it's a great hat, you know. Um, these are hats that you would wear in the winter time, or you wear out to dinner. You know, these are your nice hats. Now you can wear them riding horses, whatever you want to do with them, but. These, these are your nice, you know, going out hats, taking the wife out on the town, whatever. <clears throat> then, then I have, this is a Mexican palm leaf hat. Mexican palm leaf hats, this has got a real wide brim. It's a big hat, but it's great for when it's raining. When it's raining or when it is really really sunny outside and you're wanting to keep more more of that sun off your neck whenever you're riding horses these mexican palm leaf hats are great they're great you can you can wear this in an absolute thunderstorm and it's not going to tear this hat up they're made out of mexican palm leaves they are amazing hats this is a charlie one horse uh genuine mexican palm hat I gave sixty dollars for this one, you know, sixty bucks, and and it it's gonna hold up in the winter time, you know, it's gonna hold up in the summertime. This is a more rainy day hat. I'm gonna wear this whenever it's raining outside, you know. If it's really cold and raining, you know, thirty five degrees or forty degrees and raining, I'm gonna have on. I'm probably gonna have on this that that little Stetson, but you know, if it's I don't know. I, I say 50 degrees and under, that's that's your felt. You know, so these are like your winter hats. This would be like a good good in between, you know, 50 degrees and up raining rainy day hat or sun beating down on you and you want to keep it off of you. And then this is another Lone Star hat. This is actually a canvas hat. It is it is made and formed all out of a piece of canvas. And uh, I love this hat. <laughs> Something about it. I don't know. Now, it is not a wintertime hat. You wear this in the wintertime, it'll freeze your head off. Just the canvas material, it's it's real hard. And it doesn't, I, I don't know, it, it feels cold when you put it on your head. Whenever whenever you're, uh, when it's cold outside and you wear this outside, you, you can kind of feel that it gets cold. It, it takes temperature. But, uh, you know, normal 50 degree day, 50 degrees up and, and above. And rainy. I've wore this a lot in the rain. Rain just runs straight off of this canvas hat. Uh, it, it is impervious to rain. 
So it is another great, great rainy day hat. Say you don't want to wear your palm hat and you want to wear something different, there you go. You can wear your uh, wear your canvas hat. It's uh, it's from Lone Star. It's a 9RCA. Yep, 9RCA is the model on it. And I do have one of those, another one of those, uh, one of those little pieces of foam in the back of it here too, just to make it fit me a little, you know, a little better. But uh, it's got it's got mint holes, you know. But it's a good hat. It's <laughs> it really has surprised me how much I like to wear this hat. Uh, so there's that one. And then when you're talking just pure summertime, it's hard to be a straw hat. When it's pure summertime and it's hot as Hades outside. You want a hat that's got a lot of ventilation. Look at all of those, look at all those holes in the top of it. That will vent your head. You know what I mean? That that will let your head your head breathe. This is a twister. It's a twister hat. I bought it at a, a Cavenders, PFI, whatever you want to call it, uh, down in Springfield. And uh, I think I gave you gave about 80 or 90 bucks for this, but I can wear this in any weather. You know, it's, it, of course, if I wear it in the rain, my head's going to get a little wet because of all the holes in it. But this is a hat that literally can be worn every day throughout the summer. This is my summer hat. And since I'm going to be wearing this a lot and I'm going to be probably hot and sweaty wearing it, I wanted a really good summer hat. If you're going to wear the hat in the summertime, whenever it's, you know, 100 degrees outside, and you're going to be dealing with, you know, pop-up thunderstorms and stuff. You want a hat that's that's going to hold up. So this one is a 20X. It is a 20X hat. You can see it right there. You can see the 20, the, the 20 and all the X's around it. So this is a very, very good straw hat. And uh, you can get into a good straw hat for, you know, less. If you wanted to buy a 20X and a felt hat, you're looking at, you know, 100 bucks, 200 I don't even know. They're, they're high. Very high. But uh, this twister hat, man, it's been good. It's been great. I wear this all the time in the summertime. So with my hats, uh, pretty much whenever you see me do a video, you can almost tell what the weather is, you know, that day just by what I'm wearing. You know, if I'm wearing one of these, it's under 50 degrees for sure. You know, if it's cold, cold, you know, I'll be wearing this one. You know, if it's one of those medium days, I'll probably wear this one. If it's a warm summer day, I'm wearing this one. You know, a really nice, beautiful day, I'll be wearing this one. And if it's a rainy, nasty day, probably going to be wearing my palm leaf hat. So, you know, I got hats for different weather, hats for, uh, you know, throughout the whole year. Uh, maybe I'm a little nuts when it comes to hats. Yeah, probably so. But anyway, I just love cowboy hats, always have. But uh, those are the those are the six hats that gets me through the year, and uh, if I can't find if I can't find a hat for a for a certain day, then something's wrong. If you got six hats, I'm just saying. But uh, yeah, that's all I got today talking about cowboy hats. I uh, I don't know how interesting this will be to some people, but that's what I got. That's why I decided to put on the on the old YouTube today. So anyway. We'll get out of here and uh, we'll see you.